Hello everybody. Today, I would like to brief you on Domestic Shipping Licensing Board. Domestic shipping as defined under the Merchant Shipping Ordinance in 1952 means the shipment of goods or passengers from any port or place in Malaysia to any port or place in Malaysia or from any port or place in Malaysia to the exclusive economic zone or vice versa. The purpose is to encourage local participants in domestic by encouraging local registration of ships and local incorporation of companies participating in domestic shipping. There are three types of domestic shipping license, namely unconditional license, conditional license and temporary license. Firstly, unconditional license. Unconditional license is granted to a Malaysian entity in respect of a Malaysian flag vessel on the condition that it is qualified to own a Malaysian flag vessel according to the law stipulated for owning a Malaysian ship. It has 30% Bumi Putra participant in terms of equity, directorship and office staff. It also employs 75% Malaysian citizen as rating on the vessels. In order to own a Malaysian ship, the person must be a citizen or corporation which is satisfy the following requirement. Firstly, the corporation is incorporated in Malaysia. The principal office of the corporation is in Malaysia. And lastly, the management of the corporation is carried out mainly in Malaysia. Registration fee is RM50 per annum or part of that for the ships with 15 to 15 net registered tonnage and 10 cents for every additional tonnage after 50 net registered tonnage. Conditional license. Conditional license is granted to a Malaysian entity in respect of a Malaysian flag vessel on the condition that it is qualified to own a Malaysian flag vessel according to the law stipulated for owning a Malaysian ship. It has less than 30% Bumi Putra participant in terms of equity, directorship and office staff. It also employs less than 75% Malaysian citizen as rating on the vessels. Registration fee is RM50 per annum or part of that for the ships with 15 to 50 net registered tonnage and 10 cent for every additional tonnage after 50 net registered tonnage. Lastly, temporary license. Temporary license is granted to a foreign entity in respect of a foreign flag vessel on the condition that it is ship registration certificate. Next, copy of the contract document, rental, ownership agreement, and appointment letter for the same project. Lastly, International Tonnage Certificate. Condition on the Bumi Putra participant in terms of equity, directorship, office staff and rating are not applicable for the temporary license applicant. Registration fee is RM200 per annum or part of that for the ship with 15 to 50 net registered tonnage and 40 cents for every additional tonnage after 50 net registered tonnage. Lastly, we hope you could gain some knowledge on Domestic Shipping Licensing Board. Thank you.